Well, we are dealing with the clouds out there still through much of the afternoon. I think they will start to mix out eventually. Can't promise that we'll get sunshine anytime soon for some of us, but it should come within time here uh, towards the evening. I suppose we'll say clouds and sun for the afternoon. Some of us already seeing that clearing. If you get some sunshine, that'll warm you up closer to 80. Other spots will likely be staying in the low to middle 70s. Tonight, then, we should fall into the 60s into the evening. Some clouds still around, but we'll be thinning those out the further we go through the day and through the evening today. And by tonight, then, I'm expecting things to be mostly clear down into the 50s is where we should end up for another nice and cool fall night ahead. Here's those highs for the afternoon. We'll get up to 78 in Columbus, 82 in Macon, 79 in Starkville, Winona, up to 76 in Tupelo, 77, Houston, 77, Aberdeen at 78. I've got Water Valley at 76 and then into West Alabama, Soligent at 75, 76 in Vernon, 79 in Aliceville. We'll see our north winds continue between 5 and 10 miles an hour today. Now the trend is generally upward from here for the rest of the week. I think by Thursday and Friday, we are looking at the mid to upper 80s out there, but another cold front is coming. Saturday's highs are down in the mid to upper 60s, a bit cold compared to where we've been. Um, perhaps much needed, much needed relief from all that heat. Uh, change of pace is what we've got here, about 5 to 10 degrees below average this time. Now, here comes that front. It's originating all the way out in the Great Plains there. It approaches on Friday. The hope is, is that it can delay just enough to avoid messing with any of our Friday night football games. But I still think we're going to have to watch for some impacts to Friday night football here uh, and see what happens. And that front likely then swings through late Friday night and early Saturday morning. Here's the weekend outlook then behind that front. Lingering showers on Saturday, highs in the mid to upper 60s. We'll be into the low 70s on Sunday with lots of sunshine. Both mornings looking a bit chilly out there. In fact, the coldest of the two will be on Sunday morning. Here's why it will take some time for all of that cold air to slide in from Canada across the United States and into the southeast here. And once that front passes on through, then Saturday morning will be a bit cold, but we'll still be falling through the day uh, Saturday night into Sunday morning. This is where we end up. Futurecast wind chills, yes, wind chills, are down into the upper 30s and low 40s out there Sunday morning. A big difference compared to where we've been for much of September and the beginning of October. Uh, it doesn't last long, though. Look what happens here after that front. Then I think by the time we get to Monday, we're back into the upper 70s and low 80s with lots of sunshine. It'll be a nice day out there uh, Sunday as well, but we'll be warming up to some more seasonal weather. Be sure and stay here with WCBI.com slash weather or check your mobile app 24-7 for the latest weather updates. Now you're up to date with the first alert.